Okay, this time we will demo how to blur parts of a video using color tools in DaVinci Resolve 17. Here is a short footage of a tractor pulling a grinding truck in the field. We will be blurring the two signs on the truck. Go to the color page. Move the playhead to the beginning. Open the window palette. Enable the default circle window. In the viewer, adjust the circular window size, shape and softness to cover the sign on the side of the truck. Switch to the blur palette. Adjust the radius and HV ratio settings so that the sign is fully blurred. Go back to window palette. We can refine window shape and size as needed. Turn off the on-screen control and play the clip. Since the truck is moving, the blurred area won't cover the sign as we play the clip. Move the playhead back to the beginning. Go to the tracker palette. Click track forward to start the motion tracking. Once the tracking is done, play the clip and we see that the blurred window is now following the motion. If we move the playhead to the end, we notice that the window is a bit too big, it blurred more area around the sign. Inside the tracker palette, switch the change mode from clip to frame, which allows us to make changes to the window shape and size at the current position and create keyframes automatically. Adjust the window size, shape and position in the viewer so that only the sign part is blurred. Play the clip, and now we have a pretty good result. There is another sign on the front of the truck, which we also want to blur. Go to the window palette, in the toolbar, click the add circle button to add a new circular window. Adjust the window size, shape, softness and position to cover the front sign. Since the blur setting is applied to all windows of the current color grade node, there is no need to set the blur values again. But as the sign is moving, we need to track the sign motion, so that the blur window can match the movements. Go to the tracker palette, click the track forward button to start tracking forward. Once it's done, move the playhead back to where we started the tracking. We can navigate between keyframes by clicking these little arrows. Click the track reverse button to track the sign backwards. Turn off the on-screen control and play the clip. The result is really good. By checking more closely, we found at the beginning the blurred area again covers more than needed. In the tracker palette, change the mode to frame as we did earlier and adjust the window until we have the result we like. We've now blurred the signs in the color page. Go back to the edit page and play the timeline. See that in just a few minutes, we achieved the blurring result as we planned. With this approach, we can also easily blur out any moving objects like license plate, face or logos. All right, that's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.